Let's turn now to the big story of the day, which was the, <coughs> of, the, of the week, which of course was the uh, sacking of David Moyes. And the question I want to put to you, uh, gentlemen, at the start was, did he deserve to be sacked? Well, I wouldn't have appointed him in the first place, Bill. I didn't think, thought he'd be out of his depth uh, and said so. Um, I thought it needed somebody different. Um, but if he got a six-year contract uh, from that club, then arguably uh, he shouldn't have been sacked. Uh, the other big question, of course, is this is not a normal football club. They are a corporation. Uh, there are financial implications for failure uh, that are, you know, a massive uh, toll on the people who run the club. So I didn't like the way it was done. Mm. I think Moyes is a good manager, a good coach at a certain level in the game. Uh, and I think the more I read about it today and Ferguson's, Alex Ferguson's involvement in it, I think... Uh, <coughs> I remember a speech Ferguson made on the last day of last season, his last day as manager, mm. in which he demanded loyalty through good times and bad, as he had himself had had, and he demanded that from mm. the Manchester United fans very loudly into a microphone. Well, Moy certainly hasn't had it. No, but it, but yeah, but <clears throat> what but I'd I like would to have know, sacked him. Huh? I would have sacked you him. You would have sacked him. Yeah. Right. Now I want to ask you, Liam. What, is, what was this about? Was it about a player revolt that he had lost the, the, lost the team? Was it about big business saying we can't afford to be out of the Champions League? What, what was actually what was it about? Uh, or is he simply uh, not good enough? No, well, I don't know what was going on on the training ground and what his relationship was with the players. But by all accounts, there was real problems there. But it was big business, there's no doubt about that. They had been taking into the Glazer family and the chief executive would be taken into the into account and not in the Champions League. If we keep him, we give him the money, is he going to get us into the Champions League next year? And I think that's where they fell back on the players. Let's sound out the players. See, Brendan Rodgers last year finished seventh in the league. That's right. Yeah, he got off to a horrible start. People said he wasn't up to the job. But I have a feeling what went on at Liverpool where the players said, we like this manager, we believe in this manager, mm. and it's, it showed this season. I don't think that was the case at Old Trafford. I think the players were probably making their feelings known that they didn't want Moyes any longer. Mm. And player power and business ruled the day. What about that, John? Player power? <coughs> yeah, I'd, say there, I'd say there was a lot of that going on, uh, Bill. Manchester United are, are one of the biggest clubs in the world. And I think the setup there was that, uh, first of all, I think Alex Ferguson should have disappeared for 12 months yeah. to get out of the way. Because there's a lot of talk that players went to see him in recent times. Uh, and I believe that to be true. And I think if Ferguson, I think if he was really doing his job, should have turned those players away and said, I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to know about the problems. That's, you go and talk to the manager if you want to talk. I don't think that happened. Yeah. So I think that led to his, his ultimate downfall, uh, Myers. So, he, in other words, was destabilising? Well, I think the players, you see, well, Manchester United is a special club, in, in, especially in recent times. They've always been a special club, but in recent times, they've had players who have been there for a long time. Mm. If you look at the, the, the backroom staff, you now Scholes is coming into it now, Butts there, uh, Giggs is there. Um, Phil Neville. Phil Neville Phil is, Neville is, is there. there. They're yeah. all players that were brought up with Alex Ferguson. Mm. right? So, no matter who comes in, it's not going to be doing the job the way Alex Ferguson did it, mm. right? So there'll be, there was a lot of think, manoeuvring for Moyes uh, to, to win those players over. And then you had Ferdinand tweeting mm. all over the place. He should have been chucked out last year. So he would have been a leader in the thing that Moyes is not doing it like we yeah. used to do it. So and he, it's, more, he says that publicly, didn't well, he? Did, he? Yeah. In relation and, to and the team. And it's easy for players to gripe on that, Bill. And I think, uh, I think I would agree with Eamon. I think I, I, he probably wasn't up to the job anyway. I don't think he was big enough to handle it. But I don't think he got a fair chance to do what needed to be done. Yeah, and but I hang on a second now, John. If, 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 <coughs> if you're over the Champions League, which, was, which mm. is a fact, and you have to spend somewhere in the region of 200 million yeah. on new players to, to, yeah. to, make, to make you a Champions mm. League team again, would you have given them 200 no, million? I, 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 I'm not saying I, I don't think I would, Bill. But sure, there was no alternative then, but to get well, him, was it, there? It, well, there was an alternative to, either to, to, to stick with him and give him the money, or, mm. or, or, or chuck him out, which he did. But I think there was a lot going on behind the scenes, Bill, 
that it, it led to a business decision, but also in Moy's case, I think he was he was undermined. In, yeah, in the within club. the club. And it is interesting anyway, in tonight's statement, he makes no reference whatever to, to the, the players. players. No, I think and Roy I, Keane said they should be ashamed of themselves. Well, I, I, I think there was a lot of lot going on uh, within the club. And I feel sorry for him. And like the lads, I think the way Manchester United have handled this, they're supposed to be one of the biggest clubs yeah. in the world, they've handled it outrageously badly. Mm. Because this is a decent individual. OK, he hasn't done a good job, but he should have been treated in a better way. The, 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 the leak and that went on yeah. Bill, a day before he, he was even called in. When, when he was going to get the job, uh, initially when they were appointed him, he mm. went to New York to see the Glaziers. I think the Glaziers, or some represent, representation from the Glaziers, come, should have come and seen him before yeah. It, yeah. it was uh, I it agree. announced in the way no, it was. Th th there's, there's one huge question. How big a crisis is this for Man U? And can they come back and, you know, well, to form a glory, as it were? The answer is it's a massive crisis, Bill. And I'm just going to give you some figures from this year's Okay. annual report and here's the numbers it's going to cost them 60 million not to be in the Champions League in one way or the other uh, they showed an operating profit of 75 million euros on borrowings of 435 million and the interest on those borrowings are 86 million euros so 86 million euros goes out the door before they can look at new paying. players. Yeah. And this is a leveraged buyout that the Glazers conducted eight years ago. And they are taking lots of money out of that club. So, will 200 million do the job? No. Uh, they botched the transition from one man. There's mm. almost a golden rule in business, if this is business. You don't let the guy who's walking out the door pick his successor. Yeah. Now, they botched what they've done yesterday. It's shameful that David Moyes had to turn up at the training ground at 5 a.m. in the morning and wait for the chief executive, having read all this stuff that we've all been reading yeah, yeah. about his own job before it happened. But, Bill, they have very few players of real quality. Okay. And they won't be back on the scene for three, four, five years. Really? In, in, in the Champions that? League. Well, I, I think it makes good viewing, to be honest, being an Arsenal man and, and, and having had to suffer for the last 25 years, Manchester United winning uh, year in, year out. It's good to have a crisis over there. Let's see how they handle it. It's not easy to handle these, hmm. these, uh, these situations. I, I, like John, thought that, you know, the leaking to the newspapers... Uh, about Moyes' position over the, over the week was orchestrated by the people in power at Old Trafford, and I thought that was terrible. Uh, it's very disillusioning, really, isn't it? A big, really, a big it? club like Manchester United shouldn't have to do things like that. But, you know, uh, the players are still there. You know, the ones that maybe were complaining about Moyes are still there, so it's going to be great to see who comes in and sorts the situation out. And who do you, and who do you suggest, then, uh, will come in. Who do you suggest would be manager? I know in the short term we've... Well, I think Van Hal is the four yeah. to six favourite. You know, he's odds on favourite to come in. But That's he's a tough guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a tough guy, but he's, 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 he's very arrogant. Yeah, he can rub people up the wrong way, uh, but he, he has the pedigree. He's been there and done it. He's he has won, the yeah. T-shirt. Um, he put managers you know, and, he, and he's available. He's, yeah. available. he's available. He's going to be available after the World Cup in uh, mid July. In, 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 yeah. I know, but he's available. Yeah. You know who? Who else are they going to get? All right. Who else? Well, I think there'll be other people. Ancelotti, for example, if he doesn't win the Champions League, having failed uh, to win the league, to yeah. win the La Liga, then he could be on his bike. Mm. I'd like to see Ancelotti he, as a contender. I would go for Simeone because he's 43. He's got a great pedigree. One that doesn't speak English, though, which is well, a big problem. Well, that is well. an issue. Yes, mm. uh, he, and he's too defensive, Eamon. He's too defensive. Well, I don't. Of I don't think he is. Actually. Manchester United got Moyes, and Moyes didn't fit the way mm. Manchester no, United played, played football, mm. and, and, and they need to return correct, to that. Correct. 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 But they, you see, there's not yeah. a lot of people out there. Uh, when you really think about it, Mourinho doesn't play the kind of football. Wouldn't. No, one of the things that, that's been very interesting in the newspapers in the last few days that Angelotti and Van, or is it, and Van Hal, Van Hal, I think it is. According to the newspapers, he wants Roy Keane as his number two. Who? 
Uh -huh. If he gets the job. <laughs> well, it's a good way of not getting the job. I, think, <laughs> if, if, uh, I don't that's think the that's going to happen. I, I, think, I think he's entitled to have whoever he wants. Maybe he doesn't under... Maybe, maybe, maybe it, it would be a good move. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but I think it's... He's, he's, he's you wouldn't bit, dismiss bit, it out of hand, would you? No, I wouldn't. But it's a bit premature to be making ah, statements yeah. like mm. that at this particular stage. Gus Hiddink might be, might be available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gus Hinnick has been a really top mm -hmm. class manager yeah. mm -hmm. over the years, and I think he'd be big enough to handle it. But mm -hmm. I think once you once you lose a manager like Alex Ferguson, it's very there's very few really great managers out there, Bill. Now, when you have one, you have to cherish it. Mm -hmm. If you go back to Liverpool's situation, Liverpool dominated, same as Manchester, maybe a bit longer than Manchester for 30 years, and they changed managers from within, and it worked, it worked, it worked. But it's very, very difficult to continue doing it. And it was, it's very difficult for anybody to take over from, uh, from, from <laughs> Alex Ferguson. Yeah. I, I wouldn't like to put my life on, on picking a successful okay. manager. I don't the, can can, I, just, can I The fact of the matter, Bill, about Manchester United is they really don't have any good players. Mm. The youth but, system has, hasn't worked, uh, and uh, they don't have enough money. Uh, PSG, Monaco, Chelsea, Manchester City, Barcelona and Real Madrid will outbid them in wages yeah. and for players. They won't get the players. Well, we'll see. Never tell you what might happen. By the way, Bill, 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 what might happen? They might sell out. They might. No, they've made the money from them. Now it's, they've made the money and they take a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, well, well, Man you have come back from worse than this, I think, in the past. And also, if you look at Liverpool, in 18 months they've transformed the club. Yeah, but Bill, it and took can them, I just to finish up? Can I quote? It took them 20 odd years to do that, <laughs> Liverpool. <Can I? laughs> they didn't do it under the manager. They haven't yeah. done it in under the current manager. Can I quote Ferguson? In his, on his book tour. When a club sacks a manager, there is no evidence that it works, but there is hard evidence that sacking uh, your manager uh, does, does not work. Well, Brendan Rodgers has proved that, and oddly enough, John, I just to disagree with you for the second time tonight, <laughs> Brendan Rodgers has done it in 18 months mm. uh, without spending very much yeah. money at all. Now, he, they, they may be only champions for a year, and they need... They need more players, yeah, okay. but it can be done. So you, yeah. okay. I, I'm only, I, you're Sorry. right in the last. All right, lads, I have to leave. We have to leave it at that. I know, I know it's, that. It's taken 20 okay, years leave it at that. to get it right. That's it for tonight. I'd like to thank John Liam and Eamon for being with me this evening. We'll be back next Wednesday for the second leg of Atletico Madrid against Chelsea, with the score currently nil all. Join us at 7:30 for that.